China's rebound appears to be faltering, but when you consider the challenges of the longer term associated with the demographics of the aging population, does that create an opportunity for longer term investors like Tomasek? Look, clearly growth right now is slower than what people expected. People have been anticipating a strong government policy stimulus. We think it's going to be more moderate than the sort of stimulus you've had in the past. Uh, and that's being reflected in current valuations. You know, I mean, MSCI China is trading well below historical averages. And there are some areas in China where we think will be long-term winners. For example, domestic consumption. I mean, that's going to be the driver of growth or has to be the growth driver for the Chinese economy going forward. So that those are sectors also very policy aligned or at least policy neutral. Other areas where China has unique advantages such as around sustainability, EVs, as I mentioned, that entire supply chain out there. Uh, biotech also looks attractive. You know, China has a pretty vibrant innovation around that. And uh, although funding for some of the startups is becoming tight right now, again, from a longer term perspective, we see positive characteristics. So those are areas we are focused on. Uh, because we do think that in the medium term, I mean, those will be winning areas to invest in China.